Another day, another set of clips that don't really go together. Welcome to Grab Bag Episode 2. We start out today's video at National Street in Elgin, milepost 36 on the CP Elgin sub. I had some time to kill in Elgin back in late March and realized that Metro 2233 would be coming in any minute. A late March snow has taken hold however and although not sticking to roads, provides an interesting setting. What I did not realize was that 2233 terminates here at National Street and to the north, timetable west, we see the signal is showing restricting. Because this is an absolute signal, restricting is indicated by lunar. The lunar indication on the bottom head tells us the train will be taking the short trip to the yard once it discharges its passengers. Tower B35, which is no longer a tower or even a junction anymore, sits just to the south. The track once pinched down to one track over the Fox River between the sets of signals, but the bridge has been double-tracked recently. 2233 crosses from 1 main to 2 main at B35 and comes into National Street with X Amtrak F59 PHI number 89, which we've seen about 100 times on this channel so far, in the lead. After this day, our weather takes a dive towards winter again, so rail fanning takes a back seat to staying warm. But towards the end of April, things finally improve to a pleasant temperature, and we're back at it. First up is this CN southbound on the Leithton sub, roughly in the middle of Sutton siding. I don't know what this train was, as I didn't hear a symbol, and I attempted a new vantage point to minimal results. This line is very tough to shoot easily. It passes the detector at 46.2 and a few minutes later makes it to me. CN detector, mile 46.2. Southbound, no defects. Length of train, 9386. Temperature, 55F. Total axle, 406. Speed, 33. Detector, out. It's hard to see, but trust me, it was there. On the way home from watching this CN go by, I hear a work zone being set up on the CP Elgin sub. This isn't uncommon as they've been doing track work for a couple months now, but my interest is acquired when I hear a train calling the foreman on one main eastbound. Metro always runs right-handed on this line, so for an eastbound to be on the wrong track is definitely out of the norm. Turns out they have the line essentially single track from Tower B35 to Itasca with the work zone extending from Hanover Park to Itasca. Wanting to catch the eastbound main one signal at Schomburg showing anything other than restricting, I head on down. While on my way, I hear that 2236 is leaving Elgin and it receives instructions from CP Tower B17. And just to give you guys a heads up, you guys are going to be crossing over at C35 East uh, from 2 to 1, and back over to 2 at Roselle West, over. Even better than a clear, we'll get an approach diverging at Schomburg for 2236 diverging whatever at Roselle West. They then receive their permission past the red boards to the west. Hey, uh, 2236, uh, 1 main east, uh, you good on this radio? I got you. 236 East on number one main. It's from in Santoyo for Able. Charge a TV number 7150. A third and two limits to match the three speed. Uh, no need to stop the red flag. Mile post 28.2. Everybody's in the clear over. Meanwhile, multiple announcements have been playing advising riders to go over to track one to board. 
train number 2236, scheduled to arrive Chicago at 1.45 p.m., will board from platform number one, opposite the station. Board your next inbound train from platform number one. Please use caution when crossing the tracks and look in both directions for approaching trains. But some still don't get the hint, and 2236 has to wait for them to walk all the way around, down, to the single crossing not covered, and around. Finally, they pick everyone up and head off towards Roselle, where they then pick up their permission to cross over to Main 2 and continue east. On to May, although really not much warmer weather. As I do periodically, I was spending some time out in Earlville. The last time I came out here, I ran along the BNSF Mendota and Aurora subs for quite a long time and didn't see anything, so today my goal is to just get something. I was rewarded with northbound UP LPJ05. This is the Monday through Friday West Chicago to Troy Grove turn. It runs down to Troy Grove in the mid-morning and returns in the early evening, usually making it here to Earlville about 5, but it was a little later today. I didn't have a fantastic shot of it, but it was there. In Earlville, I got on my dash cam this mediocre view of the old CB&Q passenger station. It's in excellent condition and is still used for storage by BNSF. The last passenger train stopped here in 1971 when Burlington Northern turned over passenger service to Amtrak. On the way home, we ran along US-30 and the parallel BNSF Aurora sub. As we approach the line near Shabana, milepost 67.1, I see the gates are down, and this deer that decides it needs to cross the road right this second. Oh look, a train. Yes. Well that pretty much guarantees I won't... Whoa. <laughs> if this is a westbound, it's basically a guarantee that I won't see anything. Luckily, it's an eastbound, the direction we're going to be heading, and we can likely overtake it. And, by the way, no, I'm not driving. <laughs> How, fa how fast are you going? I'm going 65, so... That's about 60. That's a short one. I'm 
going below 60 and I'm still going faster than it's like. Ooh, they're lining it into the side. Advance approach. <coughs> what, next. they have to move over for another train? Hey, yeah. So the next one will be a red over there. probably yellow. Wait, is that two GMT employees? Yep. Seven, I said four seven point two. That is coming out of Sugar Grove. So that's the one coming the other way. How many better? That's it for episode 2 of Grab Bag. As you can see, I try to accumulate a few clips before putting one of these out. I try to keep videos to one subject, but sometimes I just can't, and that's when you'll see these. If you like the video, go ahead and click the like button, and if you have a comment, leave it down below, and I sometimes answer a few of them. Also, don't forget that you can follow me on Instagram at neilrailfan. That's Northeastern Illinois Railfan. Link is in the video description. Until next time, stay safe, and thank you for watching the Northeastern Illinois Railfan YouTube channel.